my name is Tina and today is another food review. So medyo ang cute kasi pangalawa na to and uh, I don't know, I'm always happy about kapag nakatuloy-tuloy ako ng series. So I'm gonna call this Let me try it! Which is something I always kind of say parang pag I wanna try a food. Parang Let me try it! Parang pag anong pakiyot ka rin. Anyways, whatever. So once again, I have a bare face. May konting ilagay lang ako sa cheeks ko. Oily pa hair ko. So pardon mo ah. So today, I'm going to review the Genelin Mercado, the ever famous Chunky Dough. Chunky Dough mo? Chunky Dough! Tama! Okay. So ito yun. I got this kanina-kanina lang. Medyo late na actually. Parang mga 8 o'clock ko na siya na nakakas. So this is Genelin Mercado's Chunky Dough. She bakes cookies now na sobrang malaki. I saw it online like months and months and months ago but I've never actually tried it. So since I did the Aramina one, I decided, you know what, like might as well try Genelin Mercado's cookie because you know, like I love cookies. Obviously, like I love food. <laughs> so first off, before we go to the actual food, I want to say comments as a consumer on how to order. On their service, their ganyan, their ganyan. Basically, I saw them on Instagram, pero by order is actually via email. Which is different, kasi yung sa Aramina, Viber naman sila email, so parang mas professional yung dating. And for some reason, I think it's a bit more organized that way too. And yung nag email sa'yo, direct order na, hindi na siya yung for increase lang. It was very business-like, you know, very professional-like. So that's how you order. The waiting period of my order, honestly, it was very long, for my opinion. You know, like, I have friends, na nagbe-bake din sila parang one or two days lang maximum na yung two days pero with chunky dough since via email siya tapos hindi sila like super duper bilis mag-reply sa email the ordering alone took about like two days I believe teka let me check para accurate yun I ordered nung June 6th yeah, and so I sent my my address, may ganyan. Tapos they clarified na there was a minimum order of four. So parang ako, oh my God. <laughs> Isang libo na rin yun. So meron silang minimum order. I mean, I understand, but also parang, what if you don't have the money to order four? I only wanted two kasi. Pero parang ako, you know what, I'll just try four. I ordered two original chunky dough, which is 209 pesos each. One chunky white, which is 299 white chocolate pala. 299. And then also... Nutella overload which is 209 pesos as well so yung final bill ko is 1176 honestly that's a lot of money for four cookies although malaki siya pero parang ako well it's 250 each big cookie parang when you think about it would you pay that much when you're in Starbucks I would it may look a lot pero normally if you go to a coffee shop it's about the same price I think you're also paying kasi it's by Janelin Mercado you know buy her it's a part of what you pay for I paid 30 Thursday. Tuesday was a Thursday. So after ano pa nagka-ayusan like after two days. And then it arrived to me Monday night. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like three more days. So all in all, it was like about a week, like six days to order it. So medyo matagal for just waiting for cookies, you know, unless it was like a big batch. But one thing that they did was they did mention na either June 10 or June 11 siya ma-arrive. June 10, kanina hapon, tumawag si yung the girl handling the deliveries na if someone was going to receive it for me so I call it fine I'll be here all afternoon and I'll be here so they can just send it over and then 8 o'clock wala pa so I was like I was kind of waiting for it to arrive because I had somewhere to be so yun lang ang tagal because apparently they wait after office hours kasi isasabay na sa ibang deliveries so parang I don't know in my opinion sana inunan na lang nila yung akin instead of wait for other people na after office hours eh mas matagal kumuha ng grab nun so I don't know whatever parang she answered it very like eh kasi ma'am ganyan ganyan ma'am parang medyo gano'n so parang, parang okay I'm not gonna argue like this is just for cookies like I'm not gonna get into an argument on the way na daw and then after the call tsaka lang nag message sa akin si Lala Move na it was on the way so parang ako were you really sending it over na kanina pa or did you just book it when I called you? Anyways, like I said, whatever. Honestly, kahit naman masama yung service, like minsan, kung talagang masarap na masarap masarap yung cookies, I wouldn't care. I'd still buy from them. So, now is the moment of truth. The cookies. So, meron tong ribbon, pero hindi ko napigilan. I opened it kanina and I ate like a little bit. Konti lang, like a, barely, like a little, little part of the arch lang yung kinuha ko. So, this is what it looks like. Very professional naman. Naka-print pa yung name ko. The box is nice. Ayun lang. Kasi it's in a box. Medyo nag- 
nagkalat sila ganya pero it's fine there's lang parchment papers to separate each one so that looks nice as well hi there lovely i hope you like this chunky dough cookie as much as i love making it enjoy it by yourself or share it with your friends and family hope you like it janelin m so actually nilagay ko to sa ref so hindi na siya like as melty as i would want it to be pero it's fine let's try each one let me show you this is what the original cookie looks like so it's really big it's almost as big as my head and I have a big head so it's pretty big so two, 200 pesos for this big I think okay siya talaga and it's made by Cadbury chocolates and I love Cadbury chocolates hazelnut white chocolate hazelnut honestly hindi ko alam ko to in order I thought there was gonna be more white chocolate in it but it looks like it has more hazelnut I'm not a big fan of nuts in my cookies but you know, okay lang. I'll taste it. And then this one, I believe, is the Nutella. My parchment paper, yung Nutella part. I have a strong feeling that this is going to be my favorite because I love Nutella. So here, Nutella overload. Honestly, hindi siya mukhang overloaded. <laughs> but I will see the inside. So first, I want to taste the original one. Ang laki talaga niya, which I love. Mmm. Mmm! Masarap siya kasi like, hindi siya sobrang tamis and it tastes like you can eat the whole thing. Kasi minsan, they, over, they overload the flavor na parang nakakakaumay. Saktong sarap lang, you know? So other than the chocolates on top, they also have chocolates inside the actual cookie. Kasi minsan, binabawi lang nila with the toppings. So that's good. Mmm! <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh my god. I like it so much. Well, siguro kasi Cadbury is like my favorite chocolate. Mmm, that's so good. So good, so good. Okay, now moving on to the next cookie. I'm going to try naman the hazelnut, the white chocolate hazelnut one. Um, like I said, I'm not really looking forward, but let's see if it'll change my mind. Mmm. Mmm. Nisha as flavorful as the first one. No. No, I'm not a big fan of this one. Pero pa rin mga chocolate sa loob. And the hazelnuts are all over the place as well. Pero, I don't know, medyo nakukunatan ako ng konti because of the nuts. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Wait a second. No, no. And it's also more crumbly kasi I think because of the nuts mixed in. But yeah, not so much. I ordered it kasi akala ko like more white chocolate. Last one, I'm excited about this. Saving the best for last. So far, half and half on opinions ko. Like, I really love the original one. The white chocolate hazelnut naman medyo meh, okay. So now, for the Nutella overload. So as we can see, it's at the center. But I'm praying and hoping that there's still a lot inside. Because it's a little chunkier than the other cookies. Mmm. First bite, puro cookie yung natikman ko. You can see na may Nutella sa loob, pero I have yet to taste it. Let's do another bite. Mm. Puro cookie pa rin yung natitikman ko. I'm gonna split it in half. Ayan siya. So, hindi siya over-overload, you know. But it looks like a sandwich ng palaman eh, Nutella. There we go. Mmm. See? It's good when you reach the middle part. Pero yung the rest, good pa rin naman. But I prefer the original one. The original one was amazing. This one, pretty good. Like, I'd still order it again, but it wasn't like, oh, amazing, you know? This is more parang bready type. It's thicker. Can't complain though. I still like it. It's still Nutella and it's still a cookie. So overall, I like naman their food. If you love hazelnut, then you'll probably like the other cookie. But at least two out of three, that's a good ratio naman of like a good review. I liked it. I like the taste of the actual cookie without the chocolate. It tastes good. It's not too sweet. It's not like too salty. Hindi siya nakakaumay. Yun na lang. That's great on my book. I am in no way a professional like food critic i can't even bake i can't i don't cook so this is completely just a consumer review you know for the service mm, okay it's just seguro it's a, just a matter of how patient you are and how long you're willing to wait for a cookie and yeah pretty much that but other than that if you really want to try like good cookie kahit matagal dumating sa inyo, then feel free to try janeline mercado's cookie it's pretty good the price point is fairly priced i believe kahit mahal siya sa i'm pretty sure sa masa pero i I think it's fairly priced naman. For 200 pesos, it's ganito kalaki. It's ganito ka-rich yung chocolate and cookie. 200. 
Okay na. By the way, ang kanilang delivery charge is 250 pesos, which is, I think, higher than the normal rate of a Lala Move. Parang in-average na nila yung lahat ng deliveries. Kasi even if QC pa yun to Makati, I don't think kaabot tayo ng 250. Depende sa traffic. Pero whatever. I bought it anyways. I tried it. Mayroon siya lang cut off every week at 12 noon para makasama yung ano nyo sa delivery. So, hindi sila like personal delivery basis. Parang they do curate at first and then they deliver it. Yun nga. So like I said, if you are willing to wait for your cookies to arrive, then feel free. Like, you know, I encourage you highly to try her cookies. But if you are someone impatient, I suggest that you just go to the nearest like coffee place and just buy your own cookies or S&R. They have great ones too. So that's my review. I hope you liked it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Pass this on to people who you know would be interested in Jenna and Mercado's cookies. Rest assured, Papa Tikim ko to sa family ko para lang you know, share their opinions as well. Mom, enjoy it. I hear a lot as I expected. Please. Ano masarap for you, Ate? Yung original pa lang ina-try. Ah, okay. That's your brother. Brother, hindi gusto mo ng cookies sa General and Mercado. Tikman mo yung Mercado ba yung sinabi mo? Oo. Uh -oh. Sabi mo si ano? Aramina iba yun, iba to Aramina. Mm. Mamahal naman ng mga yun. Dali, tikman mo lang, masarap. Malaki siya. Cadbury. Cadbury. Cadbury at Pops. Chap? Uh -oh. Usually her she's the bag. Tara! I wanna buy. Hey, Hi! What are you eating? The, the, the other one is hazelnut. Tara! Can I use it? No? Can you use the original? Okay, this one is Nutella. Take a bite. Take a bite. Boom, Tita is for good. No, no. Bite, Mwasha. Bite, bite. Ah. Mmm. Wow. Key guy of the day is right here. Congratulations, you are today's shout out. If you want to be the next video shout out, just comment down below hashtag Key guy of the day, and I will pick you for the next one. The basic lawyer. Please don't forget to click the post notification button to see more of my videos. That's pretty much it. With all that said, I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. Bye. God bless. Mwah.